<laughs> bad boys. Ah. Uh, no. Today's video is sponsored by Boksu. Get your own authentic Japanese snack subscription box by checking the link down below and using the code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off. Hey Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money. And you don't. I'm Jackie. And I'm Sika. And today we're going to be looking at four Crayola craft kits from... Wait, you mean figure it out kits. Crayola likes to make us figure things out. Mm. And you know what that means. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure, figure it out. out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> And these Crayola craft kits were actually sent to me by Ugrains telling me that they are from the dollar store, except for one of them. So what we have here is party lights. I don't know what kind of party lights these would be. It almost feels like it would be like, here's a cup of tea, I'm having a cup. Oh, you have a cup of tea too. Let's sip a little cup. Mm, that's quite crumpets? the crumpets. I got crumpets. I got crumpets. Yes. Oh. oh, here's a crumpet. Oh, let me throw it to your mouth. Open. Oh, oh, very nice. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Good mm. crumpet. Very good crumpet. <laughs> it's a very tame party. Mm. I definitely don't see these flowers being like rave parties. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. 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 <laughs> Next we have something called art posters to paint. Now, are the paints gonna work? Is the paper gonna be compatible? Is the brush even gonna be good? Is the paper gonna go f Oh, I don't know. You know what that means? We are gonna figure it out together. <laughs> the next one is absolutely adorable. I have no idea what it is, but again, you grains love sending me Crayola crap kits for some reason, so. But it looks adorable. It's a fun felt. Crayola kit. Yeah, we'll my see. My felt. My felt. Your felt, Jackie. My felt. For those of you who don't know, I am very protective of my felt. I do not like my felt getting messy, but Sika always likes it's to- It's not only me. It's Sika both of us. Loves we take this blame to together. Destroy my Jackie? felt. Jackie? You. No. <laughs> oh, what's your mouth? No. No. And then the last one is Crayola Signature. This one is Make om your own ombre. Macamre. And just say it in Mac French. Macamé. Macamé. Ombre macamé. <laughs> Now, even though this kit does say $11.99, the grain who sent it over specifically told me it was at the dollar store. I'm interested to see why it ended up at the dollar store. Let us know in the comment section below. Which one do you think is gonna be the worst kit? Yes, I think it's actually going to be the ombre kit. I think it's either ombre or the party lights. Actually, no, the art poster. I don't know, they're all oh, bad. No, I'm so scared. <laughs> I feel like the only one who might be good is the- The felt? <laughs> Oh no, imagine, I was gonna say party lights. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. And let us know in the comment section below. And by the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise we will wave short pointy things. And while you're there, click on all notifications and subscribe button. It's subscribe all notifications. first and then, yeah, it's okay. She's I learning tried. too. <laughs> Our first victim, because it's Crayola, all of them are going to be victims. Crayola Creations Party Lights. And I have to admit, the flowers really are pretty. pretty. Yeah, there, there's no other way to say it other than they're colorful. I and cute. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I am dark in my soul. That is some bull. But I like colors. That's true. But you're not dark in your soul. I'm dark. I'm dark in my soul. You are dark in I'm your soul. I'm very dark in my mm -hmm. soul. And at $15, this kit is actually not expensive if it actually gives us lights and an activity. And pretty colors. And pretty colors. I feel like we've done something that was like STEM. Yes. And it like colors and it's like yeah, if you grains are interested, as you can see here on screen, we did something like a stem or a steam Crayola kit where the colors absorbed into the leaves. petals. Yeah, the petals. That's it took a while. It did. Yeah, it wasn't very steamy. But yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Keep going on. on. <laughs> this one is kind of the same idea where we're coloring with the markers and then dunking it in water. It says color, dip, and dry and then finish. Yeah, so we're gonna give this ample time and then we're gonna put it together and see if the lights are actually good. It does say that no batteries are included, don't worry. You got batteries? I got batteries. All right. But in order to know if we like it or not, gotta see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. We get the sheets of paper for the flowers and they are really thin. Super thin. So, they should dry fast. Well, the instructions said they should dry in about 10 minutes. We also get a sheet of, I'm guessing they are- Stickers? Yeah, adhesives, so that when we put the flowers- It'll stick it. To the, to the lights. It'll stick. It's gonna stick. It'll stick it. It'll stick it. It'll 
thick. Also, we also get four colors. They're actually really pretty, so I'm guessing... We're gonna have to test them. Yeah, we won't test them. We won't test them. And uh, go ahead, show them what else you have. But she's been trying to pinch me since Tweezers. earlier. Yeah, with them. She's like... These oh, I actually felt that one. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> we also get a set of lights and we have to... LED lights. Yeah. Are they LED? That's what it said. And we have to supply our own batteries because they can't ship batteries across borders, so it's safer that way. But don't worry. Look. Why do you have a baggie of batteries? Because so many times I've been like, I'm gonna do this kit. No batteries included. So then I was left with no batteries, but now look, I have a baggie full of batteries. A baggie of batteries. We need three. Oh, okay. Oh, 15. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. Let me take them out. <laughs> Two, three. Yay, you can count. Good job. Good job. I am. Am I gonna lose it if I put it in? Mildly here? offended. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure that these markers are all nice and juicy, we're just going to test them really quickly. So you can hook me up. This one's called Mermaid Tail. Oh, very cute. I like that name. Yes, very juicy. I like it. We have Popsicle Pink. Oh, I think I've ever had pink. Oh. That one's a little on the dry side. Yeah, so compared to the green, it's drier. We'll keep that in mind. Mandarin orange. <gasps> I love oranges. Oh, that one's very juicy. That one looks so nice. And then we have pint-sized purple. Pint. 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 <laughs> this one's juicy too. So the only issue we have pink. is pink. So we'll, we're gonna keep that in mind. In mind. Take the pink and put it in your mind. In your mind, just like this. Just a little slot. Don't overdo. Don't overdo. Because pea-sized brain. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're gonna pop out 24 flowers because we're supposed to get one large, medium, and small per flower de and design. And we need eight flowers, right? Yeah, eight flowers. So, so we need 24, nine, six, seven, and three, three with 25 and six. Oh, maybe 20, oh yeah. 24. Yeah, 24. <laughs> All right, so the batteries are in. Let's see how, oh, you wanna, okay, go ahead, turn it on. Yeah, it's gonna be bright, watch your eyes. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow! They were not joking. Cray Crayola is not joking no more. It's so bright and the, all the light is on. I know. Can I turn off the light? Mm. Or a part of it? No, just turn this one. It's very bright. <laughs> you, know, you can see the light. You can see the lights. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and try one of these. How do you want to color the first one, Sika? I don't know. I'm just gonna open all the ones. Oh, you want me to color? Yeah. You don't want to color? I'll color after. Okay. After. Okay, let's see the box again. <laughs> Actually, we have the instructions here. <laughs> I like that. So according to the instructions, it seems like we can go in the center and then each petal will get a little bit of color, not more than that since it should be technically spreading. So let's do the center. I'll do squigglies, purple squiggly center. So more squiggly. Should we make it like thicker? Thicker? Let's try and test them out anyways. That's what okay. we're supposed to do anyways, right? Are we not trying to figure this out? We're trying to figure it out. There we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We will figure it out. But you know what? I think half the fun of this kind of Is kit. coloring. Yeah. Let's do maybe thicker squiggles like this now. Okay, here, have purple. Okay. <laughs> I like how you're just feeding me the colors. So here is our first flower. I'm hoping it's going to look better once it's dunked. Now, they told us to fold it in half and then half again, like so. And leave it in the water for five minutes? No, no, they said to leave it in there for just a few seconds. Really? Yeah. So while Sika's reading, I'll explain. So while we have it in this kind of shape, we just dunk it in the water, take it out, leave it like this for five minutes, and then unfold it to its full flower and then let it dry up like that for 10 minutes. In total, it's 15 minutes of drying. You good, Sika? Yeah. Okay, you, you trust me now? I guess. Have a little faith in me. I'm not asking for too much. This much. So. <laughs> All right, so since I did the coloring, which was the fun part, I'm gonna let Sika do the dunking, which is the other fun part. All right, so here it is. It said a few seconds, right? Yeah. Are we supposed to move it? I feel like it's just bleeding. Yeah, I think that's the whole point. It's supposed to bleed, but it's not bleeding as nicely as- As we wanted it to. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's been a few seconds. Yeah, they said not to keep it in there too long. Now just put it over here. I would insert. go leave it for five minutes, and then went to unfold it in five minutes. Yeah, and there's gonna be contamination. Yep. Did they mention anything about changing the water? Nope. Nope. So we're gonna have to do that so we don't get just contamination. All right? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do the rest. All right. All right, so it's been five minutes here. We're gonna, oh. Oh, gross. Unfold it. Wow. Oh. That's messy. Yeah. Guess we'll find out. But they definitely said not to use your fingers for this. Come on, tweezers. Please tweeze. Tweezers don't want to tweeze no more. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna have to go in manually. Oh. Oh, no. Zika. You need help? It's not working. 
<laughs> there you go. No, we're not, we're not supposed to take up that much space. All of this is supposed to go on one surface, so we'll do that. Okay. 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 So we went ahead and started coloring. We quickly realized that we were limited on the um, imaginative design. So now we go and dunk it. We go and dunk it. We go and dunk it. But we realized that the one that we just showed you unfolding, we probably overdunked it. Yeah. So, so we're gonna dunk it for like two seconds. I would say like two, three seconds. Take it out and then leave it. And here they are, pre-dunked, and also the little one, pre-dunkage. There's the dunkies. One, two, three. Good enough. Oh wow, that is still That's a very lot. leaky. All right. Be gentle. Oh no. Did you leak anywhere? No. Nope. Did you get my felt? Maybe. <gasps> my felt! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are the ones that were not dunked very long and Sika decided to remove them manually. So I did warn you not to do it that way. What did you do? I did it anyways. You, did, you know what? It kind of matches your diamond. This and this. Well, you're kind calling of. my diamond ugly. No, I'm just saying. Look at these dull colors. <laughs> So yeah, they did say we could use a hairdryer, but I have a feeling if we use a hairdryer, it's just going to stick onto the cardboard piece that they told us to dry into. By the way, this was the inside of the box and they told us to use it. So we're following the instructions. We're going to see what's going to happen. All right, now that we've dunked them all, we're going to wait. Here's proof. Yeah, they say Crayola is um, washable. We've tried soap because that's what they said. And I tried pure. <laughs> and that it, it didn't work. So they lie. Mm -hmm. They lie like they breathe. So since it said it's every, well, it said 10 minutes and it's supposed to be dry. We don't think that's what's going to happen. We even put it out in the sun. Yeah. So let's wait 10 minutes and, and we're going to get back and then we'll let your grains know if it's been okay or we got to wait longer. If it's or more not. than 10 minutes, that means what they did is they lied to us. Because they lie like they breathe and they break a hot heart. And that is not okay. <laughs> All right. So here's an update after 30 minutes. So we've got the little ones, which are dry. Okay. It's been 30 minutes for these ones. These ones we started with, so they've been there for at least 40. Yeah, I would say 40 minutes. And they're still damp. So I have okay. to move them onto a cardboard and uh, yeah, maybe another 10 minutes, I think. I would say so, it's getting there. <laughs> so here we are, 40 minutes and they actually are dry. You can see that our first tries were very muddy because after we took them out, we kind of just let them sit there. But in reality, you should kind of move them and let them kind of dry like this. Because now you can see they're more vibrant and the last ones are even more vibrant. So we got the hang of it at some point. So now what's left to do is to put the sticker things. These. Yeah, these, these things. These bad boys. These, these bad boys. Uh, ah! So dramatic. <laughs> so delayed. All right, so Sika read the instructions. How do we do it? You gotta put stickies mm -hmm. on bottom large, oh. top small. Okay. And then you go sandwich it. Okay. And then you go put on the light. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you guys can see it on the screen as she's explaining it. Mm. And now that they're all in, we need to do a smoosh. 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 Ta-da. Oh, that's cute. And so here it is all done. I actually really liked it. I did too. The only thing I didn't like is that the instructions kind of gave us a weird timing. Yeah. But they did that last time we had flowers too. That's true. They said only a few minutes and end up it taking- It took you like an hour? Yeah, it took a while. <laughs> but that's to be expected from Crayola. They also want you to, you know, figure it out on mm -hmm. your own, so. But despite the fact, I really like the- Activity. And the look. Yeah. And you get lights. Yeah, and they're and really good lights too. Yeah, they're super bright. And here it is with the lights turned off and their lights turned on. I would say that for $15, you're getting a kit and a piece of decoration. Yes. For me. And for me. This kit is worth, worth your cash. cash. Ooh, Crayola. Ooh, your cash, Crayola, mm -hmm. that's rare. Mm -hmm. Our next kit. Victim. Well, victim. Because they break off. Okay. And they make us figure it out. Okay. Our next victim. Crayola art poster to paint to paint and this kit is from the dollar store because it's so straightforward It's just two posters to paint. That's so you get six paint mm -hmm. and a brush mm -hmm. and that's it Yeah, there's really nothing to figure out here from, from what, what we, we can see, see. <laughs> I can tell you however that the brush looks absolutely atrocious and I just want to I want to touch it so that I can show you exactly Touch it. Let's touch it. Okay, you know what fine Yeah, no did you just entertain yourself? Yes, I did. Are you happy with yourself? Yes. Yes. I won't hurt you. I promise it's gonna hurt. <laughs> this is plastic. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Okay, so we have the paints. Is it one paper um, back to back? Okay, I thought no. it was one paper back to back. I was like, damn, girl. Oh, this is really textured. Yeah. 
Did you touch it? Yes, I, I am touching it. I'm gonna... <laughs> you wanna lick the paper? It's soft. What a weirdo. So not only is this brush absolutely... Don't break it. Super flimsy. I mean, look at this. Super duper flimsy, but the bristles are not even the bristles. This isn't like some kind of fluffy brush. It's this like a toothbrush. Worse. <laughs> this is probably made with the exact same thing that they make brooms with. Oh my god, it looks super thick. Right? It's the broom material. The difference. Yeah, so you can see the difference with the material. This is a plasticky broom material, whereas this is actually something that you can paint with. And the thing is, Crayola knows how to do good, well, good brushes. Good. Yeah, so this is another brush that we got in a Crayola kit versus this one. What happened? I don't know. Was this kit made to be in the dollar store? No, this I've seen it legitimately at Toys R Us for $4. Mm. So I don't know what's going on here. You know what? Let's do new Crayola br brush versus dollar. Crayola ended it's probably why it ended up at the dollar store. We also get these two drawings right here Which is basically a princess and a unicorn. Let me just bring this closer. It's a texture. Yeah, it's so weird I don't know why and you want to so soft like a texture, but so you could definitely oh 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 <laughs> So yeah, it is pretty textured and she's really excited to actually... I've never used this. I don't think I've used textured paper like this, but I have painted on canvas, so it should technically be the same thing. So it shouldn't warp. In theory. Shouldn't. Slight, but not too much. Okay. okay. Let's see what the paint looks like. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh no! Well, we can't use yellow. Nope. Oh no. That's probably why it ended up at the dollar store, because there were too many defects. They and the, yeah, the... <laughs> Brush whoa, whoa! I have a feeling the white is probably gonna be the same thing. It looks bubbly. It does look bubbly. Oh no! Oh. Jackie! What? I'm not. What, are we, what do you want me what to do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> so, green looks fine. Orange looks questionable. Yeah, white is also massacred. But look at that. It's jello. Maybe it's made for the brush. No, because pink looks pretty okay. Yeah, pink looks fine, but it's so, does it's green. so empty at the bottom. Though. Yeah, it's like there's a hole in it. Okay, let's just do color testing with the brush and, and see where this goes. It's not starting out very well. This kit's already garbage. <laughs> so just so that you grains know, half of them are no good. So let's do I'm not even sure. The blue kind of looks like it, it may be okay, but yeah. also not. So let's So it might be four out of six that are not doing so hot. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. So here is our chonky blue and our Is it supposed to be see-through? I don't know, but I'm guessing yes. And oddly enough, it seems like they're... It's coating. Coating? It's coating the thing properly. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a brush broom. Yeah, I mean, it's not very precise, but uh, it's getting color. It is getting color. It's getting color. It is getting color. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious to see that same blue blue with, with a better Crayola brush. Yeah, with which their is other brush. Lot, so it's giving us the same thing. We just have more precision. It's smoother, though. Giving us the same result. Yeah, let's okay. go ahead and just color the entire thing. You know I have towels. You don't need to wipe the brush on me. Well, I usually use your pants. These are new pants. Oh, it's fine. You're fine. <laughs> we go <gon'> color. <laughs> we go <gon'> color. <laughs> All right, so Sika is dabbing whatever's left of the yellow, and it's going to be one spot. It's really pasty. Look at how gross that is. <laughs> it looks gross. <laughs> it's so gross. So here we are coloring, well, painting the um, unicorn. The unicorn. It's just gloopy. It's, it's thick. It's chunky. It's warpy. It's terrible. I know, and even for me, I was trying to paint with a proper paintbrush, and Sika had the gross one. And they both sucked. Yeah, so well, that's bad. probably because of the paint. All right, so here we are, and <laughs> I don't think this is any fun. I mean, look at Sika over here. Are you okay? You were so excited because it was so textured. There's so much bad paint. I know, it's so... And the brush sucked. Like, look at it. I tried to fill it in. Oh, no. With this stupid brush. I know, this brush is absolutely atrocious. It is atrocious. Look at that. This is what Sika was trying to do. I was just like... Yeah, it's just chunky. It's this... because the paint, like, four of them are, are not doing so hot. And so I have to, like... <laughs> Let's see that face again. Oh, no! <laughs> And so even at one dollar, the bar is usually pretty low to be impressed. But Crayola actually impressed us in the other direction. It went so crappy. It went it just everything that could have gone wrong with went these wrong. paints and the quality of the brush. And they have a better quality brush. Yeah, because we've seen them in the other kits. And even then, they're not even good quality. They're just better quality. They're better quality. <laughs> Which is saying a lot. 
I wouldn't give this brush to my worst enemy. So Crayola, <laughs> why you treat me like even That's your worst bad. enemy? That's bad. You guys I have faith in you, Crayola. No, since when? No, wait, 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 wait. Sappy music, some bouquet light. Crayola, I have faith in you. You were my childhood hero. I know you can do better. Hire me as a consultant. I promise you sales will go up, quality will go up, and we can both benefit from this. That'd be hilarious if they actually did that. I know. <laughs> so for us, this $1 Crayola painting kit. If the paint was good, it could be a skeptical because of that brush, but... 100% but... going in the trash. Yeah. Bye bye our next one dollar store crayola item is fun felt you can use it as your felt i could it's a really cute background from what i can see but i don't know are these stickers or... i think so we really don't know anything about this even turning it around all we see is we get a felt board and 12 pieces everything from dragons to unicorns and we just sticky stick i don't know if it's a stick maybe it's just roll plain yeah. Oh, no. I was just about to lick you too. Oh, no. I was about to go. <laughs> so I don't think there's anything else for us to say other than it is one dollar. It's felt, and the question is, is it a sticker or just role playing map? So in order to do that, time to see what we inside. Here's what we get inside. We get an absolutely gorgeous felt with castle so many colors too. and rainbow. The colors are very vibrant. Yeah, they're absolutely adorable. But I, I think it is see-through. Well, you're gonna put it on a table though. It's yeah. not like you're gonna be like, I'm gonna play with felt like this. Yes, but if you put it on your blue felt, it doesn't look as cute. That's true. It looks vibrant until you put it on a dark surface. Even then, it still is nice. Yeah, I guess you can have nighttime and daytime. I guess. Imagination. Imagination. Sometimes it's hard. Yeah, not very imaginative. Oh no! <laughs> we also get 12 pieces of the felty dragons and unicorn and flowers and things. I really love these two. These uh -huh. two are my favorite. The baddest. Yeah, they are pretty dragon. cute. And they're adorable too. They're super cute. I can see you have this hairstyle too. I've had that kind of hairstyle before. But you need rainbow though. Oh no, I wouldn't do it though. No, it's too much it's maintenance. too much maintenance. It's too much maintenance. I think for me... Is this one. Yeah, I definitely. I knew it. This all one. the colors. All the colors. So, this isn't really a kit. These are not stickers. I thought they'd be stickers, but I think you could glue them if you wanted to. You could, but like, let's you... first see if they come off. They do come off easy. Oh, very look well. at that. Very well, Crayola. Very well. Très bien. All right, let's see the dragon on the felt. I'll go put it here. Okay. She wants to drink some water. Now, I think these felt pieces are pretty cute, but they're probably not very to scale so you can't have too many characters on there so even if it were to you know role play and all that stuff i feel like they could have either made the mat well the felt bigger or the characters slightly different smaller sizes. yeah but honestly still pretty cool for imagination and storytelling imagination some pretty good magic you just did i know did you i know rainbow? yeah i didn't know you could do that i yeah. thought that was just me no it's me okay you Let's got the powers imagination oh. wow it's upside down but sure i tried <laughs> So basically, these are all the characters on there. It does get quite crowded, as Sika said. Some of them could have been smaller in order to have maybe perspective, or you could have had one big, one small of each character. Or just a bigger map. Yeah, and uh, I like how Sika gave her dragon some... Recreational stuff that you get from nature. <laughs> nature recreational activities. It's really cute though. It's one dollar. Yeah. Crayola, I would say this is definitely absolutely adorable if we had two sizes of every character just to create perspective. So for us, I would say this kit easily worth, worth your, your cash. cash. <laughs> We've been distracted, right? We just kept playing with it. I know, it's terrible. Oh no. Oh, dragon. Oh no. Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> Our next Crayola victim is Crayola Signature Ombre Macamre. <laughs> I feel like it's a spell. Ombre Macamre. Ombre Macamre. Oh no, it's dark everywhere. <laughs> and this kid really does not 
speak to me at all. I feel like this craft was actually in Crayola's craft kit subscription box way back when they had a subscription box. And now they're just trying to sell it off. Like, mm -hmm. okay, we made too many of these. We thought we'd be more popular. But look, no. But you know, you're not popular because look at my fingers. It's supposed to be washable. Oh, the attitude mm -hmm. on this one. Now, again, even though it does say $11.99, you grains who sent it to me told me that it was at the dollar store at your local area. So I'm taking your word for it. And that's why we're making dollar store type Crayola thing. Once we see the bottom, it does tell us what we get. And then the back, again, same thing, nothing new. I'm really curious if it's going to work or if it's going to be tedious. So time to see what we get inside. You know what? Just gonna go get a milkshake. You're gonna be back though, right? Yeah. You're not of gonna pull you're not gonna pull that whole I'm gonna go grab something. Milkshake. Okay. Oh, she's gone already. <laughs> it's quick. Five hours later. I don't think she's gonna be back. All right, let's do the doing. Oh no. <laughs> now I want to leave and go get a milkshake with Sika. So we get this, I mean, it's it's still nice kind of thread, but it's, it's um, I don't like knitting, I don't like crochet, I don't like making plushies. I enjoy them, but I don't like making them. But this is basically the concept. We're getting three different markers from Crayola as well. A dowel, some gloves, I'm guessing, so that we can avoid some kind of mess, and another kind of string. It's the instructions though. It's the instructions for me. Uh, so we're gonna start with making some kind of knots, and then knot those knots together, and keep knotting the knots to each other until we get a kind of V shape. So I'm not gonna take you grains through the entire tedious process, but I'm gonna just go ahead and try it. It's okay, we got this. <laughs> so far so good. These were not complicated to make, but I did notice that one of the ropes is absolutely frayed. So I think I'm going to skip all 12 and just go for eight. I mean, it's basically just making a loop, taking both of these in and pulling it up like so. I'm a pro now. <laughs> All right, so I know it's not the um, prettiest thing, but it's Makami. What do you want from me? I'm just going into the zone. I have Pat helping me here. Thanks, Pat. No problem. <laughs> this is the best I can do with um, hating to do textiles. So it's basically, I don't even know if I'm doing it wrong at this point, but I'm just doing it. Oh gosh, this is so ugly. <laughs> But this is what we're going with. All right, let's go ahead and cut our angle. Let's just pretend we know what we're doing. Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's see how well these markers work on here. So let's go with blue. Oh, that, that's gonna take quite some time. I have to say, I'm not enjoying this kit. This is just not, not up my alley. I'm gonna say it again. I hate this. I hate this with every ounce of my existence. How is this fun? So far, nothing from this kit tells me that I can't buy these materials from the dollar store. Even though it was $11.99 and yes, this kit was at the dollar store, I feel like that's probably why it ended up at a dollar store. So let's go ahead, dunk it in the water. And they said that color release is normal. Dunk it in there for a few seconds. Color is supposed to just kind of make its way down. So here's what it looks like once it's fully dried. Yeah, the colors just completely came off and there's no green, uh, yeah. So I think that this kit for me would probably... Welcome back. You look guilty AF. I'm not guilty. I told you I was going out for milkshake. Yeah, I, you said you were gonna be back. Yeah, I am back. I said I was gonna be back, I didn't say when. All right, so I'm gonna show her what ended up happening and we're gonna tell you our verdict together. So with all the struggles that I had, I did not enjoy this kit. It just didn't connect with me. I can see why it was at the dollar store. So 100%, this would go in the trash. Bye-bye. Oh, nice catch. <laughs> But let's not forget about today's sponsor, Boxu. For those of you who don't know Boxu, they are a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that focus on premium, delicious, authentic snacks. They don't just fill their boxes with dagashi. Also, unlike many other boxes, they actually ship from Japan, and they work with companies that are well over 100 years old to give you exclusive stuff. As a first-time subscriber, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan, which is a taste of a little bit of everything from different themes. And then after that, you're going to get a monthly curated box 
costs. For example, this month is Tropical Travel, where you'll get anywhere between 20 and 25 snacks. I can't say enough how much I absolutely love Japanese snacks because they're just so balanced. They're neither too sweet nor too salty, and you just don't feel gross. And hey, you also get a tea. You know what that means. Time to try some snacks. Yuzu Monaka. Smells wafery. And oh wow, that jelly. Oh. Oh. It's like a soft bean paste that caresses your taste buds. Very mild. I like this. As some of you may or may not know, I love watermelon. Holy carp, that smells good. I smelled it way before I even opened it. Wow. Oh, it smells like summer. Here they are. Oh my god, there's a filling. Oh yes. Oh yes. Shima Togarashi. I do like spice, if I do say so myself. It smells like rice crackers. Mmm, that is flaky. Oh, there's the spice. It's not too invasive, but you know it's there. I think this is my favorite. Mm. We also get a booklet that tells you where each snack comes from and whether they have common allergens or vegetarian. This is very much appreciated since Pat is pretty allergic to quite a few things. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below and use the code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off. That's up to $47 off of your subscription box. I love Boxu so much. Thank you Boxu for being huge supporters and sponsors of this video. Remember, if you want to find Sika, you can find her on Instagram at NERDYSISTERS underscore Sika. Underscore. Wow! That's Nerdy you. sister underscore Sika. And you can find me on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. You did good. I did good. You did good. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.